Comfloor 210 was introduced to the New Zealand market in 2002 and has been used in the United Kingdom for over 20 years. Comfloor 210 is best used in a single span configuration where the 210mm deep profile is fully or partially incorporated within the height of the supporting beam. Resulting in a reduced story to story height when compared to using metal deck laid directly on top of the beam. Comfloor 210 is very economical in terms of concrete volumes used. This is due to the deep beam type troughs that provide the spanning strength, while the broad top of the profile minimises the amount of concrete used overall. Comfloor 210 suits construction that requires large spans but also demands a thin overall floor system, that is the total floor system height inclusive of the beam. Comfloor 210 has the longest unpropped spanning ability, over 5 metre beam centres. When temporary propping is used, spans of over 8.5 metres are possible. Comfloor 80 was introduced to the New Zealand market in 2005 and has been used in the United Kingdom since 2004. Comfloor 80 is best used where long sheets continue over multiple beams to fully utilise the fantastic spanning capabilities and construction bracing properties of Comfloor 80. And as such it suits high rise construction and where a simple large spanning and lightweight flooring system is required. Comfloor 80 is a great balance between economic concrete use and robust acoustic and fire performance, achieving four hours in fire testing without any modifications to the underside of the decking. Comfloor 80 can span unpropped to over 4.6 metre beam centres. When temporary propping is used, spans up to 7 metres are possible, meaning Comfloor 80 is a great all-round choice for your project. Comfloor 60 was introduced to the New Zealand market in 2008. Comfloor 60 is similar in use to Comfloor 80, but is better suited when the thinnest possible slab is required or where acoustic, fire and vibration criteria are critical factors in the design. Using less material width than its manufacture, Comfloor 60 also comes at a lower unit cost than the Comfloor 80. Comfloor 60 is great for commercial car parks and storage units or anywhere a long spanning concrete efficient slab is desired with good solid performance characteristics. Comfloor 60 can span unpropped to over 4 metre beam centres. When temporary propping is used, spans up to 7 metres are possible. The Comfloor range has many uses and can be used to good effect on virtually any substructure desired. The structure best suited to Comfloor, however, is structural steel. Structural steel combined with Comfloor saves weight, which gives huge benefits to foundation design and overall beam and column sizes. Comfloor combined with structural steel speeds up the construction time, with a poured floor-to-floor -floor turnaround sequence of five days not uncommon. This can save months of construction time compared to other styles of construction, leading to faster occupancy and return on investment. When used unpropped, services and other fit-out installations can proceed unhindered, immediately after the Comfloor sheets are installed. Although structural steel is the best option, other support structures commonly used are masonry, pre-cast units such as shell beams and even in situ poured beams can be used to support Comfloor. Comfloor can be used propped or unpropped during construction. It's best to construct unpropped either as single span sheets or as continuous sheets, 
A single span design can be improved by approximately half a metre when continuous sheets are used, reducing the number of beams and saving the project unnecessary costs and construction time. If maximum spans are wanted from the Comfloor slab in service, propped construction can be used. Spans of 7 metres can comfortably be achieved, with spans over 8.5 metres possible. So within the Comfloor range, there is a product that will suit any application.